All right. Shalom. Call hello. Yahweh. Bashem. Yahweh Shah. Bahashem. Rakak. Wadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles. The great millstone. Shalom. Salute to the hopefully elect. Uh, this video is just going to be quick. Just going on the spirit, you know. I came across this video and um, it's, it sparked a flame in me because uh, it says, this is fair use. I'm going to play the, uh, I'm going to play the clip. Um, but it came close to home because it says construction work of fatally struck Dave, Davidson man charge. And you know, it was an Edomite because, um, this happened, um, in Maryland. Right. And usually if it was a Jake, they would have his, uh, picture, his picture up, up there, his age and everything. But I noticed lately that these Edomites been going around shooting, shooting churches up, shooting uh, markets up, and they trying their best to hide their identity. So we all we know we already know, uh, you know, the prophets. We are the prophets, Lord willing. We are the true prophets of the Heavenly Father. We know what's going on. See, so that's why we don't get so emotional about it, you know. And we know it's judgment. We know it's judgment. A lot of Israelites are going to be taken out. You know, the lady that got hit. Uh, I didn't. Uh, most of the time, it's either Jake that's flagging. Because I used to do, you know, flagging work, you know, uh, with the construction company. A lot of times they get uh, the Issacharites to do that as well. Because they, you know, they, a lot of them are immigrants. So they come over here and do it uh real real uh for cheap labor but they should be paying when i was doing it i was doing it through a temp agency but that job that should be they should be paying these workers high higher you know you stand out there all along in, in the street you know so you should be getting paid but they find ways to uh get over on jake you know so this is the system we live in you know but uh, going by her name, the lady that got hit, it, uh, most likely she was an Isca, right? And these Edomites are able to get away with murder because this is their system. But I'm going to go ahead and play the, the clip. Fair use. Since they're out here all night long, a construction flagger was killed on the job. It's hard work, too. It's like it's not it's not you're, it's, it's unappreciated. It's not people who are getting paid well. It's not great conditions. They're out here all night long. Yep. And that's how they used to do us. You know, we do t uh, 10, 12 hours. I quit. You know, it, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's only so much you could take, you know. But uh, they have us out there, uh, you know, 12, 13 hours. And only trying to give you minimum wage. When that job is should be, um, you know, up in the 20s, past 20 automatically because you're dealing with the highway you're dealing with uh traffic control you know but anything to, uh underpay jake that's what they'll do a construction flagger was killed on the job by a drunk driver who lived around the corner that's according to Anne Arundel County Police, who say 56-year-old construction flagger Lizeth Guzman was working traffic control with the crew repaving Davidsonville Road when a drunk driver in a Jeep plowed into her at the intersection of... As you can see, he's an Edomite. And these Edomites, man, they be having... They, be, they get away. They, this their system, you know? Just like that, uh, you got Dylan Roof. You got that guy... Uh, Peyton, Peyton, um, ah, I forgot his name. Uh, that Edomite, that Edomite devil that killed those, uh, Jakes. And, and, and the thing is that, that, uh, Edomite, he killed, he killed mostly women, black women, you know? So this, this devil ain't got no love for anybody. But they ain't going to release his name because he's an Edomite. You know? 
King's Retreat Court and kept going. Police say there were many witnesses. We spoke to one who asked not to be identified. You can see the tire marks. It looks like the guy was trying to turn onto King's Retreat. He comes over here, he can't make it. The woman was behind the stop sign the stop sign up, up here. According to witnesses and Anne Arundel County Police, with Ms. Guzman wrapped around the front end of the Jeep, 48-year-old Christopher Asher then crashed through a stone and cinder block sign and then plowed into a tree. He hits her. They go through the cement blocks. And the only thing that stops him is a tree. But you can, I mean, the whole gate is gone. According to court documents, Asher had just caused a hit and run, rear-ending a Honda that was stopped for the other flagger a half mile up the road. Police say Ms. Guzman died at the hospital. I'm so sad that she died. I just can't get over that. So he basically was just a, role, a reckless road devil, you know? A reckless road devil. And you see a lot of the times these Edomites, they... You know, they walk, when you walking on the same side of the street as them, they expect you to go around, you know. The, the scriptures say, you know, you be, um, but I don't do it all the time, you know. The scriptures say be, um, be, be peaceful, you know. But Esau thinks, thinks he, he run, runs everything, you know. What's the earth is given to Job 9 and 24, the earth. Is given into the hands of the wicked, but they are losing their power. They're losing their power. Lord, well, I'm gonna do a video on this Jake. Uh, these Edomites are slowly losing it. That's why they're going around shooting, killing. You Jake's that Jake Jacob's trouble. And the scriptures say the house shall begin uh with the Israelites. You know? Matter of fact, let's go to it. Uh let's go to the scriptures. All right, I'm going to start at 1 Peter chapter 4, verse uh, 17, right? It says, for the time is come that judgment, judgment must begin at the house of God, or rather Israel, or rather the Heavenly Father. You know, and who's, who's his children? The Israelites. You blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. It says, and if it first begin at us, what shall the end be of them that obey not the gospel of Yahweh? Yeah. So um, the Lord is going to get his own people first, the Israelites, you know, he's going to not touch the elect. Hey, Lord willing, we are the elect. We're still going to go through things, though, because guess what? We got family and friends, you know, of course, we want our family and friends to be be OK, but. Judgment is judgment, you know. It's a, uh, verse 18. It says, and if the righteous scarcely, scarcely be saved, where shall the ungodly and the sinner appear? Right. So we we going to be we we. There's going to be times where we think we ain't going to make it because that's how that's how cruel it's going to get, you know. And that's the spirit. I was just saying that, you know, that's how cruel it's going to get. So if we scarcely make it, if we just make it right, what about the two thirds? They're going to get destroyed. They're going to get uh, obliterated. I think that's a word. <laughs> um, first Peter four and, uh, no, I already read that, read that. I meant to go to um, Isaiah 45 and 7. It says, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. So it's not like, you know, back in the day, some some of us brothers, we grew up in the church. Some of us brothers grew up uh, going to the Jehovah's Witness. Some of us uh, brothers grew up Catholic. Some of us brothers grew up Muslim. But most of us grew up in the Christian uh, form set, you know, where as though your your parents or your mother or your father were Christians and they drag you to the uh, the church or whatever, or in the household, we always thought that Satan was was the one bringing, you know, the the, the evil. You know, anytime something bad happens, 
We thought it was, oh, Satan, oh, Satan. No, it's the Heavenly Father. Now, Satan, Satan does carry out those things, but it's by the orders. They don't, they the Lord's orders. So ultimately, it's the Lord doing it. And this scripture right here proves it. It says, uh, I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do, do all these things. So the Lord is doing all of it. You know, that's why the scripture say you bet you got to fear. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of, of knowledge or wisdom, rather. You know, it's wise to fear the Lord. Ezekiel chapter 21 and verse. Um, verse nine, I'm going to start at verse nine. It says, son of man, prophesied and say, thus saith the Lord, say a sword, a sword is sharpening and also furbished. Hold on, let me let's let me read it again. Ezekiel 21 and 9. Son of man, prophesy. That's us when we go out on highways and byways. Or when, or when we're making these videos like this. It says, prophesy and say, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, a sword, a sword is sharpened and also furbish. I got a picture that I want to pull up. What does it say? Son of man, prophesy and say, a sword. A sword is sharpening. A sword, a sword is sharpening. We want it. We want it, our people. But they don't want to listen. If you look at these people, they look like the average Jakes that you see when you go out um, to the store or whatever. Or your or your, your, your people in your family. You know? Or your neighbors. You know, we all can relate to these faces right here. These Jakes. You know? But what did the Lord use? He always used Esau as his sword, you know? This that demon. Look at look at that. Look at this demon. A sword. You know? But through all this, through all this, right? The Heavenly Father is the ultimate chess player. So he gonna he's gonna pay, you know? He's gonna pay. He, this devil going to pay for what he did to our people. The Lord using him to, you know, destroy it, you know, punish us, you know, punish the majority of our people. But guess what? We're going to get paid back. So the Lord going to give us the ability to put our hands back right back on them, you know, Cause, so you really don't get away with anything. You know, I got a um, few more scriptures I want to uh, complete. I'm going to go down to verse 11. It says, and have he given it to be furbished that it may be handled. This sword is sharpened and it is furbished to give it into the hands of the slayer. Who's the slayer? Esau, you know, and this could be, um, this could apply to uh, Yahweh Shah. When Yahweh Shah come back in those chariots, he's going to slay, he's going to slay, he's going to destroy a lot of people. When he come back, you know, because he wants he he's he's gonna get his kingdom back, and he's gonna be ruling forever and ever, even forever. And we ain't never gonna see Esau in rulership. It's going, oh man, just the just just the thought of having these Edomites in captivity. He, hey, each brother might have his well, not might, but each brother is gonna have his own his own plantation, his own group of slaves. And he's going to be long as as long as it's within the laws, he's going to be able to do whatever he want. You know, so we're going to hey brothers, we're going to have fun. It's a, it's a, it's beautiful to be in this truth. You know, you, you shouldn't want to give that up for anything. You know, that's the ultimate prize. It's truth. You're going to be ruling over these same devils that that you had to beg for a job. You know, because when you go on an interview, a job interview, that's what you're basically doing. You know, I got that from watching um, this uh, the video that the elders and apostles. I can't find it nowhere of uh, Kima Shah, his sermon when he was uh, in. Um, he was in. Um, what is that? Times Square. Him and uh, High Priest R.E.R. It's, it's going back to the 90s. You know, and I, I used to watch that clip uh, a lot, you know, but I think they took it down from YouTube, you know, but 
Yeah, we, these same devils that did that to you, that might have hung you or might have put hell on you in, in this life, in your past life, in the past life before that and, and on. You're going to be able to get payback. That's beautiful, you know. And all these Edomite concubines that walk past you, the, the good looking ones, hey, they, if it's within the law, hey, they, they, they yours. This, they your slaves. These people were made for our, our sake to serve us because we're the Heavenly Father's children. These heathens were made for our sake, you know, to serve us, you know. The scriptures say um, for um, handmaids, you know, for handmaids, servants and handmaids. Because we were, for Esau, we were for the other nations, you know. All right. So to close this out, this is the last scripture. This is Matthew chapter 24. And I'm going to go to, um, I'll go to um, 22. It's a, it, it reads, and except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. But for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So brothers, you, you, you want to strive to stay in this truth and keep pushing. No matter what, you know, the Heavenly Father ain't going to put something on it that you just, that you can't handle, you know. So fight. You got to be a good soldier. And that goes for myself, too. You know, when we do these videos, we, it's the spirit of the Lord speaking. You know, it's not us. You know, we don't even own our own spirit, you know. So that's the spirit of the Lord speaking. And sometimes I, I, I find, I find it quite, you know. Hey, it's deep. Sometimes I, I listen back to my, my videos, you know. But I, I really, I really mostly, you know, because the time is short. I, I try to listen to as many brothers' videos as I can. But it's impossible. That's, that's, that shows you that there's no excuse because there's so many videos that you, it's impossible for you to watch every brother's videos. I try to do as much as I can to the best of my ability, you know. Yeah, but I hope this was edifying to the body till again, shall I want.